Okay. So um, this is the history of the cosmic melody of why why we're using this actual piece. Um, so it was composed in 1998 or 1999, and it's the result of, or it was born out of a co-project that Barbara Marks Hubbard and I were creating together. I, I had a vision and what brought me to Israel in 1996, I believe, 1994, no, 1996, I was living in Paris, France, and an inner voice said, move to Israel, you'll settle in Galilee, you'll found a special center where there'll be special music that combines East, West, and computers. Now this is in times before internet, before the days of internet. It will be situated in a green place where you see blue and the focus will be over the seas. I had no idea what that was. Um, so when I saw that book, her her chapter resonated so much with my own vision i had never i i say these words today but in those days i had no words to be able to enunciate what this was and her vision was that she saw a she saw a stadium full with people and they would sound a sound that was aligned and attuned to the vibratory rate of the Earth's rotation. And when I read her vision, I, I got goosebumps because she described almost word for word the same vision that, that I was having. And so somehow I found her, I did whatever I needed to do. I, I've got to speak to this woman. I found her number in Tiburon, California and called her. And she was just delighted to hear from me. She said, you know, you're telling me this now. I said, I want to bring you to Israel because we're going to have the turning of the millennial. And I want to sound, you know, we can sound the sound together. It can bring in a new era. This is the, this is the, one of the main foundations of Voices of Eden, which is a live experiment of creating health and well-being on the planet one authentic voice at a time then she said you won't believe this she goes i can't believe you're calling me right now because i made this a tuner a prototype and that's this can you see this i made an a, yeah, an a tuner and back in the 70s she was in we so we made the we made the prototype and we imagined millions of people sounding this sound and then but there nothing came of it and we didn't have any money and it just went on the back burner and this whole thing has been on the back burner until your telephone call right now so i'm going to be sending you the prototype because i believe that you're the person who needs to bring this forward so she sent me this prototype I'm not smoking a joint. It may look like it, but I'm going to sound the sound. When I first received this, now remember, this is, you know, through the snail mail, you know, it's 1998. I'm like, oh, I'm getting goosebumps right now. And, and um, I composed the cosmic melody. It just came out. And then, you know, it's like there was no internet. So then one day I like, phoned her back when the hours synced up because it's 10 hours difference Israel to Tiburon. <laughs> Go, Barbara, listen to this. <laughs> so, you know, I sang it to her and she, she cried. And 
And she's like, yes. And we got so excited, you know, how we're going to, and how we're bringing her to Israel. And, you know, this is the birth of a new era. And then who remembers Y2K or YK2? Remember that scare? I don't know if you remember, do you know, do you know that, Simona? Yep. Oh, it's like, nah, not. Nah. You know, and then there was the Intifada, which is the Mideast crisis, not, you know, it like killed the whole project. So it never happened. Yet the cosmic melody was born and I would take around this little a tuner everywhere I went. People go, oh my God, we want one. We, we you know, we, we want to do it. And, and so I would teach this melody for years and years. And then, um, when there was the tech then then like recording technology started to come out and i was teaching this and you know i was having workshops and the melody that is on the website for the virtual healing music choir that recording are all voices of people like you well not like you because you are you like you're really conscious with your voice these people had no experience whatsoever and that piece eventually led to the research that it gave me the confidence to go to the hospital when the intifada came and to suggest the research and you know god bless you know in times of calamity necessity could be the mother of invention which brings us to what we're doing here today so um uh, well, no, fast forward to 2010. I get a uh, link to Eric Whitaker. Oh, are you coming back? Oh, hold on just a moment. All right. You can go ahead. I'm going to be 30 seconds. I'm going to be 30 what? seconds. I'm going to be 30 seconds. I'm just letting you know I'll be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall we wait for her? Can we wait for her or shall I keep going? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll sound the sound again so you can. This is, it's not C or Do, it's not. What I've learned since or during that same time by living in Israel and by studying the Eastern approach to music eastern meaning from north africa to the middle east to central asia and to the mediterranean there there are remnants in the eastern approach to music that um that uh, in the west we don't know so if in our Western system, there's, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, you know, the scale, or if you would look at a piano, uh, a, you know, a, a keyboard, that between those two white keys, there's a black key, because that interval, you don't need to understand from music, but between those two keys is a, is a half tone. So that same, so we divide in the West, we divide tones into two. In the Eastern world, that same interval is divided into between nine and 13 parts, dependent upon where you are in the Eastern world. Most are nine, if you're in Azerbaijan, they're divided into 13, which means that the Eastern ear is much more, ear is cultured. And in Hebrew, ear, ozen, is the same root of inner, ba of inner balance, izun, balance. So that, that's why sometimes if you listen to like Arabic music or to Eastern music, you may get sick to your stomach, which I used to do, or it may feel like uh, nails on the chalkboard because it's out of what our ear has been acculturated to. So that this cosmic note, it's not, and, and in 19, I'm not going to go into a big thing here. Uh, but 
the East and West, there was a big world conference in Cairo in 1932 where the West wanted to temper the East. And fortunately, in traditional musics, it didn't, it never happened, thank God, because that still gives us these remnants. So this cosmic note is not do, and it's not re, and it's not do, uh, uh, do bemol, or do diez. I, 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 my music education is from Israel, so I do do re mi fa so la si, and I don't, or C sharp or D flat, okay? It's neither. It's somewhere in between, okay? So I don't know where I was. Simona, where was I when you left? Because we, I was, I was riffing on other stuff waiting for you. You were right about to show the melody. Pardon? You were right about to show the melody. Okay. So, um, so the melody is... Oh, of, of why we're here. That's what I was. So the point of us being here today and the point, oh, I was at Eric Whitaker. In 2010, Eric Whitaker initiated a virtual music choir. And when I received somehow the YouTube of his video, and you can see it on the, on the, on the website, it was like, oh my God, that's what we need to do. But it's taken till today. I, so I received it on Sunday. And from 7.30 Sunday morning until now, I have been spending every waking hour putting the website together, going, yeah, okay, it's, it's time, it's time. So that's what we're doing here. And, and no, that, so now you know, well, just start meeting with people online. We're all sequestered inside and I wanna support us in really following through with this. And it's only gonna happen as we all contribute to it because it's not about me. And, um, and they're just beautiful things happening. And I'm showing up once again, like, showing up on that train in Paris, you know, in the, in the nineties, having no clue what's going to happen. It's just one day at a time. So we're all pioneers here in this next phase. And I really, really honor you for showing up. So the melody, there are three really simple parts to it. And what this is not, it is not a performance. And it is not about doing. And uh, there, well, can you see me? Can you see my body if I'm standing up? There are three areas. So the and they're on the virtual healing music choir. I put you can do one of two parts or both. Doesn't matter. Uh, and you can't flub this up. There's no right or wrong to this. The first part is this note. So just listen right now. And if you listen in earnest, you will hear it silently inside. Mm -hmm. So just see if you can still hear that inside in the silence. I'll do it a few more times.
Can you hear it in the silence? I'm unmuting everyone. Let's sound it together. Yep, that's exactly it. You can either hum it to yourself, you know, like a or ah, because the first part, how the melody starts, it's in the heart area. It goes through all of this, all of the chakras, all of the energy centers, and begins in the center. Just listen now. Can you still hear it in the silence? Yep. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, just when you're ready, one note to one breath. You can't fuck it up. I mean, there's just, just no way to screw it up. So that actually is the first part. We just align together. And uh, it would be really cool if you would record yourself just with that single note. You know, there's a conductor track on the, on the site because then we'll have many layers of that sound. Cool. Yeah. So that's, that's the first part. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It's so, it's so, you want to do it again? And this time, it's so, it's so beautiful, even through the internet with all that. Here's the thing that I've learned over the years with the internet. Because of where this sound comes from, it's in the silence behind the sound. So, and it's not about getting to any place and it is not about singing. That's the ego. This is you being the instrument and being in service to the sound. Somebody is uh, writing over if you, what I would invite you and ask is while we're unmuted, if you could not, you know, not write or, you know, just, be present here because that will really serve us all and i thank you so instead of singing outward this time can you still hear it mm, yeah allow imagine yourself as imagine yourself as an attuner like this and that the sound is sounding through you the the sound is actually the result of how you're attuning to your natural voice you're not a singer that's an egoic expression allow it to just resonate from you let's see and and we just learn by by experimenting and it's one note to one breath so let's do it, I don't know, maybe three times. And you don't have, you also don't have to take some big breath. There's no, it's not, again, it's not about doing, it's about resonating with that sound, all right? One more time. Well, instead of listening to this, because that's the usual way we do things, can you stop for a moment? Can you hear it inside? Mm. 
Exactly. So beautiful. Yeah, and just allow yourself to sound that one breath at a time. Everybody here has a different amount of breath. Totally doesn't matter. And let's just keep continuing in a loop. Like, give yourself a massage. It's really calming and just very relaxing. And let's see what happens as we just go on loops and that there's always that sound here. So let's keep continuing and then I'll sing the melody on top of it. Okay. And if you can keep your, oh, you know what, let's do one more, one more uh, phase. That if you can keep your eyes open, let's see what it's like to be in connection. <laughs> That's a nice, a really nice experiment. We're all over the globe. <laughs> Yeah, so beautiful. Whenever you're ready. You want one more level of it? <clears throat> yeah, let's do this. So, so I didn't put this on the instruction because I don't know how it's going to work out with the, you know, this is a pioneering project and the, <clears throat> but let's try this. Yeah. So there, there are movements too. And, uh, so the, because of the first part, it's in the, you know, in the, uh, you know, above the, in the upper part of the torso. I'll do it once. And then I'll, it's not that I'm doing something again. I'm allowing the breath to move me actually, or no, I'm allowing the sound to move me. Watch the difference. I'm going to do it twice. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what my focus is, and then you tell me what you notice, okay? Uh, that was the first time. Uh, loop in the heart like you're pulling the energy out and then you're pulling it back in what which one which one did you connect to more um like of the two that you played yeah the first one i think the first. i don't know it was, there's it was the, I'm not right or wrong i i have no idea how it's coming across online either this is all all pioneering <laughs> So you first, yours was the second. Why the second? The second to me, it seemed more relaxed and you kind of went with the sound and then you let the sound actually finish with your movement. 
All right. How about you, Lauren? The second one, it just seemed more in flow. More in flow. Okay, you say one, Simona. Why one? <laughs> like what? What makes you? What made you resonate with that? It, it, it's such a it's such a subtle it, it was such a subtle thing that for me was like just picking of two so the more honest would be like to say that I didn't really perceive the true difference oh okay great all right oh. uh, Janine um I think the second one um there was a a very subtle shift in your energy on your even on your face it was like you you felt more plugged into that um you know pl more plugged into what you were doing than the first one the first one seemed a little bit more mechanical like mm -hmm. okay rosemary thank you rosemary what 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 was it like for you first or between the first and the second because it seemed more you're coming in and out you know what you could you could also uh you can type in the chat box. You can find that. You'll find that at the. Oops, she keeps coming in and out. What did? Which did she say? I couldn't. Did anybody understand? Oh, here she comes back. Hi. Interesting. I'm going to do it again. Okay. Mm. After everybody's spoken, because we're all learning together. Okay, this is the first one. Uh, the second one. Uh, I like the first one because there were more harmonics. Okay. Lauren? I found the first one you were very connected. Okay. What does that do for you? What, what does that mean for you as the listener? It just, it just, it just seemed to, the sound and the movement seemed to go together better. Oh, okay. And, and Simona, what do you mean by harmonics? So why, why does that attract you more? As a listener. Quality to your voice. Uh, there was an angelic quality to your voice, like, ah. Oh. And it felt like more coming from the heart and in the first one it felt like you were trying to keep the note as solid and straight along possible so it was more like ah and the first one was like ah. great thanks how about who's next linda yes I think the first one sounded uh, more resonant, like exactly what Simone was saying. Sounded more free in your tone than the second. What, how did that? How did that affect you as the listener? I was more drawn to that right. sound than the second one. Okay. And how about you, Rosemary? Are you? You know, Rosemary, we're having a difficulty with your with your internet connection. If you, it's hard to understand you. There's a little chat box you could write in the chat, so we can see also. Maybe in the meantime, I'll go to Janine. Um, I. 
it wasn't a huge difference for me, but um, if I have to pick one, I'd pick the first one. Mm -hmm. And it's just such a subtle um, energetic thing. It almost felt like they, it, it had a little bit more spaciousness in it, um, like it, it, more space for a little bit more um, a fuller thing. But, it, but, it, but I couldn't really describe it by what you did. Um, like I couldn't get mechanical about that part of it, but it just was how it felt. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. I mean, what all of you are contribute, and and we'll see what uh, we'll see what Rosemary has to. Uh, can you hear me now better? This is Rosemary. Yeah, much better. Okay. I think it was having the headset on. Okay. So I took the headset off, and I can't say either one because my connection went out when you were oh, doing see, it again. So okay. yeah. Say. All right. And if it goes out, Rosemary, what I would, what I'd suggest to you is just, you know, keep along with us because there's, there's an impact even that, that's much more powerful than the internet. And uh, yeah, it, it, it works and, and and weird out too. I, and I moved locations and I think where I'm at right now in my kitchen is better than where I was at outside. Uh, it's still, it's still scratchy, but it's better. We can understand you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, well, you all you all got it. The uh, and this is going to bode really, really well for the entire melody when we when we sing it, because it wasn't that I was I was doing the exact same thing, doing wise. What was different was my focus. In the second, I was. Okay, well, I'm moving this kind of what uh, because it's in the center, it's like, who cares? <laughs> you know, so it, and it takes the energy away. And when you all, uh, each one of you said the first one you connected with more, why? Because I connected with the sound, I was allowing the sound to lead me, not me doing it is so subtle and that is the entire point of this entire approach it's not what you do it's what you're not doing and it's not that i'm doing a certain thing i wasn't even focusing on what i'm doing it's that i was just allowing my arms to open up my breath and i wasn't even focusing on my breath i was just focusing on listening and being in service to the sound that wanted to move me. It's the same thing I'm doing when I'm listening for the sound. That's why Simona, when you said, could you do it again? That I just invited you to listen to the sound because you have great hearing, you have great focus. Can you hear the sound now? What, Lauren? I can hear it. I know, I saw you, so you hear it. What are you hearing? Oh, I'm hearing the... Can you still, can you still hear the tone? Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, and that's so interesting because I was hearing that, what you sang is exactly what I was hearing. So okay. we align together. Okay, so now let's do it. Again. So, so the point of this is just to allow that set, you know, to allow yourself to open your to, to allow the sound to support you. And you you have a relationship with your voice, which is in which is uh, behind the sound in the silence behind the sound. And then uh, it's like so, so it just it allows for the voice and the body to be in sync together so let's let's try together and keep your eyes open if you can 
let's see what happens. This will be really very, very interesting. <coughs> I'll give one tone and then when you're ready, come in. We don't have to do it together. This is not, <laughs> trust your feeling, trust your connection to the sound. That's what's correct, not what I'm doing. Uh... arms to support you. continue. I'm going to sing the melody at some point, uh, but you just keep going. Beautiful. One note to one breath, and if you get tired, stop. There are other people singing, and just listen to the note again. The internet's so interesting. <laughs> How was that for you? You're still hearing sounds. <laughs> I feel so calm. <laughs> yeah. 
There were a couple places where, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh-huh. When, um, you know, when you came in with the other part, it just, there were, there were like a few notes in there whenever it just like hit right on together and it just felt, well, I don't even have words for it. It was, it was really going, I could feel it going through my whole body. It was nice. What did you notice? There's no good sharing, sharing experience. Something difficult for you, something particularly easy, uh, something that helped your focus, something that broke your focus, whatever. For, for me, when you brought in the melody, I wanted to start as a flutist also. I wanted to just oh. join in with your melody. So then I got off the pitch a little bit, but <laughs> tried to make my way back. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Linda. Yeah, because that, that can happen easily, you know, when we go into the mind, you know, like regular music. So, when, and, and it'll come up. It's totally fine. Just notice when that happens. Well, we've worked to get, go back to your sore spot and listen, you know, and just come back to listen to, listen to the cosmic note. That is so much more important than the melody. See, the melody, it, it can't all be there without the note. Correct. It can. I mean, I can sing. I, I'm intentionally working with you this way instead of going, ah, ah, ah. It's such a simple melody, but if I teach that first, given how we learn music and what we're used to, you'll listen to the notes and go, ah, 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 If I'm thinking about doing it, that's why I'm not teaching the melody up front. That's why I have the conductor track there, and that you'll really be well served to just listen to it for a while. Or just, I didn't think about this when I was recording it, but it would really serve you to just, you know, whatever I'm doing on there. I can't remember because I was just connected and and you know hit record. Uh, but sing a long single note because while you're connecting to the sound, you know, to the to that vibratory rate, you will also be connecting to the resonance in the melody, and it will be much much easier for you to then sing the melody in the way that you're being in service to the sound instead of being a singer. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. 
So anything else before we go to the melody? Yes. Uh, I was under the impression this was going to be a half hour call, which is why I've been very distracted. I like left something in the stove. I made a call at 11 p.m. that I rescheduled. I rescheduled it to 1130. Um, I am quite curious about structure. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I didn't say. I scheduled this until 11.30. I didn't write that on there. Sorry about it. Um, and I frankly didn't know if anybody would even show up here. So uh, <laughs> it's very, very organic. I always look at my phone and let um, someone know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I also had no idea who, you know, who would show up and if they even knew what this thing was. Or maybe I was just going to describe something. But it, if we do this again, I think I'll do it for an hour. Because I also took time to introduce. What, what I'm going to do is, I didn't even think to record this, but I'm recording it. And I'll put it up on the website so that people can watch this. Then there won't be a need to go through this again. Does that make, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Uh, okay, so, uh, and did you guys, have you guys watched the videos? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> One part of it. Which, which, which part did you watch? The first, I think it was the first one um, that you had, um, I, you know, I, I saw you standing in the living room with the earbuds in. <laughs> Oh, that's the conductor track. Yeah, because I was yeah. listening and and yeah, yeah. Was that? Do you think that's helpful? Is that helpful to you? I don't yeah, know whether it's helpful I, or distracting. No, no it's helpful. helpful. Very helpful. I I have to go back and listen again. I didn't really. I wasn't giving it my full attention. I just wanted to see what what was included on there. Um, I I think I have, uh, and maybe there's more time for that. Um, maybe more questions on on the recording of, of you know what are, what are we aiming to eventually be able to upload okay so um all right let's take a few minutes for that and then we'll go to the then we'll go to the melody the idea for watch eric i put eric whitaker's uh, video at the top of the about page because when you watch that you'll have a good idea of what the idea is here it's a the idea is combining healing sound and technology and creating a user generated virtual healing music choir because we are all in isolation and there is great danger socially being in isolation for all kinds of stuff over time to happen. And this music modality was birthed during really stressful times. And this is a means by which each person who is in isolation can be soothing themselves and at the same time contributing to public health. The intention of this project is that you will record yourself singing the uh, cosmic melody. You can choose one part, just what we've done, you know, the long single note. And, or you could do the melody, which I'm going to teach you right now, and which I teach in the second video, Janine, which you did not see. It's a teaching video where I explain the three parts and I teach them. But I don't go into this depth behind this. I just, you know, it's a five minute video for instruction and watch it afterwards. I'm curious for your feedback also after this session, how you respond to that five minute video. You can do a recording of each one of those. And if you do make them two separate videos, what will happen is you are going to upload each video to YouTube. And then we are going to aggregate all of these videos together into a virtual healing music choir. We will edit and scrub the sound. There's instruction of how to do it. I've used Eric Whitaker's instructions and 
the Boston Zamil Choir. I found another in Boston. Uh, a uh, they're singing a psalm, you know. And I took their instructions, but I see that they took their instructions. For, they used Eric Whitaker as a model as well, and and did their own thing. So I'm using, and they've been. You know, those, virt those virtual music choirs have millions and millions of viewers. So imagine what could happen when you're using your voice for the highest good, and then all of our voices are coming together. That is literally why it's called Voices of Eden. It's a living experiment. And today, on March 20th in 2020, Technology has gotten to the point today where we can do this. And it's organic. So, and it's going to happen when we each upload these things and we're going to be doing, we're going to be moving forward together. And I envision children, you know, from it's multi-generational from well, uh, if babies want to sing, great. <laughs> you know, but it's children to to teenagers to young adults to adults to middle-aged adults to seniors. Because there is, you know, Janine, you're you know, you're with your mom. You could be recording. You know, there is such shutdown, and you know, I can't be with my mom right now because i'm shut in i've asked my the, the caregiver of my mom to watch this with my mom because it's a wonderful activity that you can be doing with loved ones that imp that's empowering we can take this situ this situate this pandemic and turn it into and transform it into a uh, panacea of health your voice really makes a difference. And it's going to happen by each one of us saying yes. It's not about being perfect and it's not about a performance. And I frankly, I don't know what's going to happen. I've never done this before. And I've dreamed of doing this for 25 years. The time has come. What am I going to do? You know, sit in my home all day? It's, uh, you know, imagine us spending our time constructively and each one of us has a way that we can contribute and imagine our whole world is changing and when we will get through this and when we're on the other side, things will have been changed. But what I know about this and I've known it for 30 years and now, now I can say it publicly that conscious use of sound can be used destructively or constructively. For example, thousands of years ago, the use of sound destructively brought down the walls of Jericho. Same use of sound can be used to build up, and that is the intention here. Your voice can heal. First, yours, because without you connecting to your voice, it's just all bullshit, another doing and a egoic structure. structure. And for those of you listening afterwards, I can sometimes have a dirty mouth and mm, excuse me, but it's just me being imperfect and real and uh, not politically correct. Um, so did I answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have other questions? No, I will go, go and look, I'll go and look at what you sent okay. out and then okay. I'll have a look. And please share with others because it's, you know, that the first video that Eric Whitaker did, 185 people responded. And there are 185 singers. The second time they went for the Guinness Book of World Records with 900 people in 2000, they had 1900 singers. 
my my goal for this is actually 2020 singers i'm being you know big and audacious that will happen my my goal in with the leadership aspect has always been well my role is to inspire 1000 feminine leaders to inspire another 1000 everyday leaders to inspire another thousand do you know how many people that's like a billion people it's like really doable virtually it's yeah it's really doable and i know that there are people i mean you know i have a background you know before i left the united no in france I was a broadcaster for CBS and I had thrown away my television set already in before the Gulf War. I threw away my television in 1990 and when I worked for CBS I prayed to use my voice for a higher purpose. Voices of Eden is the result. Why do I say this? That when I sang on the trains which showing up today and doing what I'm doing is the next iteration of the train. I'm not going to tell that story right now because I want to teach you the melody. You can go on, I tell it in my, in my first Ted talk. So you could go on the, you know, you know what? And that Ted talk is on the site. Watch the Ted talk because they are also really relaxing, cool uh, exercises that will help you and prepare you for this that's, that are in that Ted talk. And there are also a few exercises in there that we did with the whole audience spontaneously. And that will inspire you. Um, that's it. Anything else? Ready for the melody? Yep. <clears throat> So here's the cool thing. It's so simple. It begins here and it ends here. It's, it's circular. Okay. Uh, I'll sing it once and then we'll take it part by part. Listen to the sound. Can you hear it? What do you hear, Lauren? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the first sentence. The first, you know, there's part A, part B, part C, and that repeats itself two times. Does it help you if I sing the whole thing, the whole melody once over, and then we break it down, or do you want to go right in? What helps you learn? What, what, Simona? I would vote right in. Right in, right now? Okay. So then let's do that, and it goes twice. Let's start with the tone first. Do that together. It's like one sentence that has two parts to it. <clears throat> the first part is. Do that together. Uh, 
And then it repeats again. Together. Beautiful. Now let's do it together twice. One note goes to one breath, and there's no rhythm here. <clears throat> Just you're following the natural flow of your breath. So that first part, it's focused in the heart area of the trunk of the body. Okay, so this time when we do it, let's do it one more time. And this time, as you're singing, instead of singing out or trying to remember the melody, allow yourself to screw it up. There's no right or wrong here. And allow the sound from in your heart it, it just allow it to be in your heart mm. okay so let's start with one long single note you know of the you know, of the cosmic note i'll you know what i'll do the note once then let's do the note together once and then we'll go into the melody but the point isn't us singing a melody together. Again, there is no point in doing that. It is more, there are more nutrients in your screwing it up and being in your heart and not being perfect than there is in your singing a perfect melody where there'll be a nice sound, but that doesn't have, and it's relaxing. But the, my intention here with the Healing Music Choir is that eventually we're going to get as we connect together and as people deepen with this, we will get to a point where the choir together will get to the same results that we had in the medical research project in Mayer Hospital in the neonatal intensive care unit. And it's totally possible because I didn't know what I was doing there. I'd never done it before. I was doing exactly this. So why can't a group of people do that okay make sense absolutely okay so i'll do it I'll, I'll do it once so you can hear the note here i'll do this once then i'll do once then together we do the note once and then we'll go into it okay <laughs> Together. 
angelic. Ah! <laughs> 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 well, that was gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next part. Now, the next part is going to the upper chakras. Now, if it's a regular singing, <clears throat> oh, it just kill me now. I'm already stressed just thinking about it. Instead of going up, imagine yourself like a dunk basket. You're at the crown. Hear how there's no stress there? But if I sing it, it just I'm stressed now I have blocks coming up <laughs> but with this approach I'm gonna <sighs> there now I <sighs> okay I just because uh, it comes up a chain reaction now all this stress comes up and why am I going to even open my mouth now because what would come out would not be it so instead of trying again that's another thing when you're working with your with your uh, recording um, when stress comes up just wait you know, let go of the blocks that are coming up. And if you if you don't, I'm ha you know, we can work together and release. Okay. That goes twice. Well, that's the third part already. Let's do the second part. It goes <clears throat> twice. I'll do it once, but then let's do it together twice. Do it twice together. Don't stop in the middle. Oh, fuck sorry. it up. If, fuck it up if you need to. Doesn't matter. <laughs> part is focused on the, the intention is to root your voice and root the melody ground it it's the it's in the earth and it goes three times listen once mm -hmm. And then you're back at the beginning again because that's the same note. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Okay, so let's do the last part. It's oh. Okay. Oh. Again. Let's do the whole thing. Okay. Ready? We'll start with one long single note and then and we'll do that together and then go and do the melody. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Yeah. So we have two minutes left. Let's do a short circle. What are you taking from this? And how will you how will you contribute to your health and our public health? How can you share this? Yeah, Lauren? It's just making me feel so steady and calm, so anchored, ancré, the French say, anchored. Okay. And uh, this is good because when my husband comes home from the office in a few minutes, he's going to be all, uh, all worked up. So 
I have to uh, be present and listen and say, yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say dear, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> but my giving back the calmness, I think, will help him. And he's so happy it's Friday. It's been a very difficult week. And I would add, and, and thank you for being here, Lauren. Happy to be here. Rosemary, is that you? Did you want to? Yeah. Um, when I was little, I was always in a choir at school. Okay. So this is really nice to be able to come back uh, to singing and it makes me happy. I'm like really happy. So it's just like spreading more joy and happiness to people and being positive because I'm always positive and I have not bought into this fear at all that's out there. I, that's just not how I, how I am. I'm very peaceful and calm inside. Thank you, Rosemary. Yeah, love is stronger than fear and hate. Nothing new under the sun except practicing it. <laughs> and yeah. what a great opportunity. We have to do that together. Yeah. Help ourselves and others. And I'm going to share this with um, my two employees, one of who is a singer, you know, and so uh, they'll help spread more happiness. Yeah, please, yeah, please share on your social walls and Instagram and on Facebook and on LinkedIn. I really, you know, it's like the people who are so stressed and working. I see this is a great opportunity for people in tech too, because it's technology. And it could be a real service for those who are, there are a lot of people who have gone out of the office and into the home and there's a great, and, and their kids are at home. So it's like all society ills are at you know, epic proportion and can be outbreak. And this is a really simple way that we can be of service and that people can have a very simple tool and it doesn't cost anything. It's like, I'm just, I haven't even put up an opt-in page. Um, Cause right now I just, you know, I want it to get out. I don't know where this is going, but I know it's good. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I see. My, I, I mean, I, what I want to do right now, like my next go to is to just listen to this over and over and sing it throughout my day until, until it just becomes a part of me. And, and then, you know, before actually trying to record or anything just to have it be you know weaving and becoming so much part of me that I don't that I'm not thinking about it and um, one of the things that occurred to me while you were talking and the other people that could benefit from 